everybody, this is Drew Dinkmeyer, a.k.a. Dinkpeace, and I'm one of the DraftKings pros. And today, I'm here to talk to you about the importance of the cut line in PGA for daily fantasy players. So the cut line is established mostly on Fridays at golf tournaments, and it takes forward the top 70 players in ties after Friday's second round. Those players who don't qualify for the top 70 in ties, they leave the tournament while the other players move forward to play on Saturday and Sunday. And so the importance of getting players past the cut line is, is pretty obvious. You get two extra rounds, which are two extra rounds to accumulate points. And the data really backs this up. In 46 tournaments since October of 2013, the players who have made the cut score on average 20 points more than the average player in the field. Those who don't make the cut score 24.6 points less than the, the average player in the field. Now, if you want more information on cuts made and what percentage of cuts players make, you can check out DraftKings player cards where each of the individual statistics for the player is highlighted in the top of the player card. You can see how many cuts they've made out of how many tournaments they've played, and that gives you a good idea of what percentage chance you have of a player making a cut line. The concept makes drafting a tournament lineup a little bit tricky. You can swing for those fences for those high risk, high reward players, but you need players to get across the cut line to be able to contend. So keep that in mind when constructing your PGA lineups. That cut line is very, very important. That's the end for today's note, but make sure to check out all of our content on the training camp. Make sure to check in every single day for new DFS content on the playbook.